Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel, One Life Made Simple. So tonight I'm going to be talking to you about um, COVID-19 and that is a topic that has been trending everywhere. Right now the world is going hysterical talking about coronavirus. Well as you know I live in a small Caribbean island by the name of Nevis, Sankis and Nevis, Nevis to be exact. And um, right now coronavirus, as we call it, has been, you know, touching the Caribbean islands one by one. Um, we heard about it, you know, being in Guyana, Suriname, French Saint Martin, Martinique, Dominican Republic, Antigua and Barbuda. And, you know, right now we're all very scared. We are very reliant on the tourism industry in St. Kitts and Nevis because we do not provide anything for ourselves, really. Everything that we use is being imported. We import our food. We import our clothes. We don't have any manufacturing um, facilities here. So right now, you know, seeing that this coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, is hitting very close to home, we have many people who are right now, you know, in a panic. People are panicking in different ways. Panicking and, you know, shopping. Some people are not very, not taking um, what's going on very serious. Um, some people are, you know, tuning into the news. Well... Today, I was able to, you know, go around to different supermarkets and I, you know, got a little glimpse of what was taking place. You had some people shopping and preparing. I don't find anything wrong with that. But you have the naysayers who are saying, you know, um, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't go out and you shouldn't buy anything. You're, you're tapping into the hysteria that's happening. You know, people are talking about politics because, you know, politics is rampant in our country right now around the world. And so you have some people who are not preparing as they should. And you have those who are trying to prepare. And those people who are not preparing are trying to make the people who are preparing feel guilty for doing so. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you a checklist that can guide you as to what you need to buy in order to prepare for um a pandemic so this is a pandemic checklist okay and these are some stuff that you should you should buy if you're gonna go out and shop at least have these things available batteries a portable radio you know you can listen to the news water water purifying tablets bleach and other reliable disinfectants soap for showering dish washing liquid laundry detergent toothpaste and toothbrush, toilet paper. There are many memes about toilet paper. Why is everybody buying all the toilet papers? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, um, paper towels, paper cups and plates. I guess that's if you're not going to be using dishes, I guess. A few buckets so you can store stuff in, store your water in, stuff like that. That's good to have. Clothes lines and clothes pins, you know, just in case we don't have electricity, you're not reliant on a washing machine, you know, to wash and dry. You can wash with your hands in buckets and hang them on the clothesline. Okay, um, keep candles and kerosene lamps, matches, gasoline, diesel, stored in approved containers in a cool, dry location. Get extra cooking gas. And it's recommended that for all of these things that I'm listing out to you, that you should get them for three to six months. You can get them for three to six months. Okay, um, also on the list you have duct tape, a large box of rubber bands, first aid kit, flashlight, prescription medication. Now at this time I can let you know it's hard to get medication. I'm not sure about prescription because, you know, you can't get those unless you're prescribed by your doctor. But regular medication, you know, such as vitamins, they're already gone from the store. I went to get some paramol, paracetamol, you know, for fever reducers and everything is already gone. We're already out of um, hand sanitizers and alcohol, like seriously. Okay, um, get vitamins, over-the-counter meds that work for your family. Get approved masks, that is N95 and N99 masks, suitable sizes for your family. 
get surgical masks and suits. Medical grade disposable gloves, alcohol based hand sanitizers. You're gonna have to make your own here, sweetie. You're gonna have to make your own. Um, disinfectant wipes and sprays, mosquito repellents, insecticides, borax, stuff like that. It's good to get sponges, Brillo pads, rubber gloves, baby wipes. And baby wipes can be used for the family, for the whole family in case you have shortage of water. You need other oral hygiene stuff, such as mouthwash, dental floss, sanitary napkins. Don't forget sanitary napkins. Deodorant, shaving items, shampoo, conditioner, lotions, and nail clippers. You need baking ingredients and food containers to store your stuff. You also need thermometers. Back to the baking ingredients, you need to have flour, yeast, baking powder, baking soda, Salt, sugar, honey, dried peas and beans, dried fruits, dried soup, such as ramen noodles, etc. Get powdered milk. It's easier that way. That way, if we don't have electricity, for whatever reason, you have powdered milk. Coffee, tea. Get canned good. Vegetables, tuna, sardines, mackerel, salmon, meats, fruits, etc. It's recommended that you get canned goods also because um, most canned goods, come with water, like the vegetables in water or vegetable stock. You can use these things in order for you to, you can use these things in order for you to um, cook stuff in, okay? In case you're out of water. So don't throw this stuff away. You can use that to cook with. You can get um, drinks um, with electrolytes, and get canned and packed juices. Get candy with a long shelf life. It's recommended that you get comfort food. You don't want to feel as though you're in prison. Get candy. Okay, um, get your vegetable oil in case you need to fry stuff. Peanut oil, peanut butter, stuff like that. Jellies, jams, crackers, dried cereal, nuts, and condiments. These condiments include ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, pepper sauce, you know, preferably single serve. That way, you know, you can just take one, use it, stuff like that. Get trail mix, rice, pasta, stuff that's gonna, you know, last. It's recommended that you try to remain logical, calm, and oriented, you know. Limit crowd. It's not time to jam. No, limit your crowd. You know, so these are just some stuff. As today, I was talking about my experience out shopping. Some people would say it's fear. Some people would say it's hysteria. But I'm saying it's good to be prepared. Don't be like the ant and the grasshopper. Um, whereas the ant is going out and, you know, getting everything that it needs. And then the grasshopper is out there hearing the same news that the ant is hearing and not preparing. It's best for you to prepare. It's better to be prepared and have than to be not prepared and not have. And then you have to depend on other people for what they have. So um, I'm going to insert some videos about what I got from today. I hope that you, you would watch, you would enjoy, you would take some of my tips and stay safe. Subscribe. Bye. So right now we are preparing for, you know, Look at all these vehicles, you know. It's like the whole of Nevis came out to do shopping. 
Yeah, that would scare me. Well, Corona shopping, that's what they call it. Because, um, in all honesty, you know, like all the shelves, <laughs> essential stuff, water, toilet paper, toilet paper can't even make it to the shelves, you know? Traffic jam, gas stations are full, supermarkets are full, people renting vehicles to go shopping. <laughs> I don't want to laugh. Yeah, so happening now, everybody is, you know, preparing for the inevitable. So I mean, if you can see, I'm just... Hey, how are you? Okay, yes. It's, 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 you know, sad and very sad because in our country, we don't really produce anything here. So we depend, you know, solely on imports. And so, you know, the thought of having a disease that's coming that's causing you know the economy to shut down it, it's it's very scary that's the honest truth yeah i mean if i can show you properly what's happening because i don't want to be evasive and you know be recording people you know directly so it's hard to see but you get the idea what's going on <laughs> <laughs> 